All right, welcome back. Check this out. Okay, we have another rational function in front of us right now. How do you know it's rational? Well, it has an x on the denominator. Okay, that's basically what a rational function is in general, right? If you see an x on the denominator, then it fits into that category. Uh, what's different about this one, as opposed to the previous, previous video, is that this is not in transformational form. Okay, you cannot make a mapping notation of this as it is. So what I'm going to do with you right now is I'm going to show you some algebra that you can do to uh, put it in transformational form, and then it becomes a problem just like the previous video. All right, so check this out, all right? Watch what I'm going to do right here. I am going to split apart the first and second term on top. So you can see right here that I'm leaving some space in the middle, and I'm going to add and subtract the same number. So if I add a number and then subtract that same number, I'm really adding a net value of zero, which does not change anything. So what number am I going to add and subtract? I'm going to take this coefficient in front of the x, the 4, and I'm going to look at my denominator number of negative 2. I'm going to times those together. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So I'm going to add a negative 8. And to offset that, shout out to offset, I'm going to add a positive 8. So a minus 8 and a positive 8 all together give you a 0. So I haven't really changed anything other than the form that this is in. Okay, so watch what I do from here. Okay, just a little bit of algebra to manipulate this a little bit. I'm going to separate this into two fractions. So take the first two terms and take the next two terms and just split them apart. And then what I can do is I can do some factoring and some simplification. I can factor out a 4 on top here. And it should work out every single time. So I have 4 over, sorry, 4 outside of x minus 2, and those x minus 2s can cancel. In the second fraction, there's no factoring or canceling to do, but I can take 8 minus 5 and make that a 3. Now what I can do is I can rewrite it as 3 over x minus 2 plus 4. Now this isn't really the answer if the question asks to sketch the graph. But what it does is it puts it in transformational form, and now it's like the other previous video and the questions that you worked on where you can get a mapping notation, and of course that would be x plus 2, 3y plus 4. Put in your key points, get your asymptotes, and so on, which you guys can work on on your own.